Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls. I'm gonna go through this. We've already been through it once. This will be the second time I paid 720 for this unit. Let's see what's inside. We bought this unit for 720. It looked like a lot of furniture and it happened to be the one full of the boxes, whereas the other one that was full of the, the boxes is actually full of furniture. Let's get started. Oh, I thought this was a damn Pendleton. This was inside of this dresser here that I'm moving. I thought this was a Pendleton from Carmel, Walnut Creek, San Francisco. It's just placements, but whatever. Some sewing kits. These might be something to set aside for the auction. I probably will do that. Actually, let's do it now. I know a lot of y'all sew out there and you knit and all those things. I don't ever get a lot, but now we have a bunch. Another one. And another one. Mexican star pillow. Where are you? Wood duck, Otagari. Not bad. Uh, it's, it's getting a lot more hope for the rest of the unit right now. I can tell you that. All right, so. Ah. 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 Nada. We do this, we're gonna get this in that table over here. Those are, so we're gonna have to set those aside until we are able to find the shelves. Damn, that's almost nice. Make a tier. And we don't have all the boxes we thought we did, so that's a bummer. We still got a few. We made it to the back here and what looked like a bunch of it looked like a bunch of boxes became chairs. And what do I see here? Personal papers, dad's mom's funeral. That's sad. And that's what it looks like. A lot of things from a funeral. Kind of sad, Nick. That's how most of these things go. Plastic box. In my opinion, this is what I see all the time. They sell the house, they sell the possession, they feel bad about that, so they put everything else in a storage, and it sits here. This person spends a hundred grand, basically probably pissed away all of the investments the parents ever had, storing this stuff. I almost said shit. I did say shit. At the end of the day, that's what this stuff is. It's trivial, it's not important. It's, it's, it's stuff. Life is far more than stuff. Yes, I make a living off of this stuff. A very good living. But, in my opinion, this person should have gotten rid of this stuff when their parents passed away. How people get mad, show the personal stuff. Well, guess what? Their legacy don't live on when you hide that stuff and you throw it away and et cetera, et cetera. I want them to be known. I want their face to be known. All right, Dad. What do we got here? The Battle of Bunker Hill. Okay, so we got a Battle of Bunker Hill. We got personal stuff here. Pete Poodles, Poodles and Poodles. Okay, thank you for that. School paperwork there. Life. The Marshall Matters. What is life? Life is like a big obstacle in front of you. No. Ooh. Those are fancy. Those look like Le Iward. Those look like they're made of Le Iward or maybe Bakelite. I don't know. We'll take a better look at that. Life is like a big obstacle in front of you, obstacle to slow you down. And just when you think you've gone past it, it comes back around, attacking you to the damn ground. 
who knows that song? One of my, that's my favorite Eminem song. So we got end good item, and then we got some books. Not great books, because what's that from? Yeah, from uh, uh, what's that? Word? Half baked or something like that. Okay, so we got all things medicine, day quill. Ooh, these look kind of cool. Maybe somebody's school project or something. I like those. We'll leave them up here and we'll see if the deer, if the mice attack them. Damn, this one's got a broken antler, of course. Welcome to my world. Here we have some type of fun, le, fan, le fancy cup. Yeah. Okay. Looks like two cups. Be nice to find something really, really extravagant in here. Those are nice. There's two of those. I would have these looked at. I like the signature on the bottom. I like the style of them, and they are potentially Japanese. Japanese is good. What do we have here? More of those cups? Let's see. I think this will be my last box in this unit. I know I didn't get through a lot, and if it isn't enough for a video, we'll come back and do another one soon. But maybe I'll add footage from something else, too. I got some vlog footage and things like that. Japan. American History Summary Cards. Discover Civil War. Yes. That's kind of cool. That is something I probably put together in a YouTube option. Ooh, ooh. What's in here? Ah, cards. I was hoping that was a watch box, but it wasn't. Cards. Cards. These will all end up on the auction because the cards do well. Cat-like reflexes for a beautiful Japanese, maybe Chinese cup. Got some nice writing on the bottom. It does not say made in China. Always like that. Here we got some more playing cards. Wow. Ooh, what is this? Like a crystal ball goes on the top of that? Mm, look at that. It is a pheasant. What do you guys think? Comment if you want to see all these wood pieces on an auction. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting kind of... A uh, little hesitant on what I auction because it becomes very expensive. So I'm trying to get more advice on things people actually want to bid on so that we make sure they're set to. We're only uh, shipping things that people really want. Otherwise, I'm spending a fortune on an arm and a leg. Mm, it could have been better. No. I used to make those. It's exactly similar to my sculptures I used to make when I was a kid. Ooh. Petrified walnut or something? What is that? It is neat. Two more of these Japanese cups. We got a lot of those coming. Interesting. Oh, look at these. I'm liking these. These, I can promise, will end up probably in the auction. They're very old. I think they're bookends. Look at those. I'm going to get me some dogs like this one day soon. Once we get our property and start our new business venture, we're probably going to have a piss ton of dogs like this to protect and what else do we got? We got Easy Japanese. So that helps narrow down that they probably bought Japanese stuff if they're trying to learn the language. We got another quail. Are those Dan quails? Ah, get it? No. Pirate, oh. you're not funny. Looks like a honeycomb or something. I don't know. And poems for the John. Okay. So there's a lot of little things here. I want to see in that one. I want to do one more box. I always say this, but I really need to get going because I have to go meet to make positive. And I gotta drive a half hour to get my kids, drop my truck off, grab the other truck, and then come back all the way to drive an hour and a half. 
PBO storage kitchen. That is not one I want to finish up. But it is what it is. I said I got to go. There's 20 bucks, so we'll set that aside. We basically whittled a hole down the middle. I was trying to get back here to load the chairs, and I thought all that was boxes. It turns out it's not. It's more furniture. There is boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15. There's a wall back there. 17, 9, 20, 20, 20 23, 45, 6, 7. And then all of these are boxes. There's about 40 in here i speculated 60 i see at least about 40 left to go we'll go through those for now i'm gonna end this video and i'm gonna get on with my day i'm gonna go see my family ha! all right made it this far in the video we're gonna continue a little bit longer i have yet to show you guys the final haul of the 4300 dollar unit with jack i have my half of gold and silver we're gonna roll the footage real quick and just give you a quick walkthrough of everything that ended up being mine a lot of people were a little skeptical about that unit but lo and behold jack and i probably ended up with well over ten thousand dollars to split in gold and silver making the unit a total win in my book because we paid for it through the flea market and auction so let's get to it Little bonus footage if you stay, but I brought home a box that was sitting there and I didn't go through, through too thoroughly and we found a bunch of Hummel. These pieces right here are beautiful. This is some type of crystal and we got these Hummel pieces right here. Hummel, Hummel, Hummel. This stuff right here is really nice. I mean, it's not like 80, 100 bucks a piece, but I'm thinking at least 20 a piece, whatever. We're going to auction that all off and then look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We hit the jackpot on Yadro. So much Yadro. Whoo. This was all in a box when I got bored and I didn't look in it. And I took it home later on, and it wasn't as boring as I thought. Usually glass boxes really, really bore me. Um, they, they're in every unit's got it. So it's not as exciting. It's not the easiest thing to sell. But this stuff here, this is real nice. This will end up in the auction, not to mention this stuff here. Check these out. These are old snuff bottles. These are nice, too. That's some last-minute pieces from this unit that uh, really paid off well, I think. This is all silver from the locker with Jack and I. Basically. But some nice pieces, though. All of this is silver. This is my half. Even this is silver. I don't think the coins are, but the necklace is. Um, we have... Yeah, what do we have? Breakfast stuff? Bacon, hash browns, and eggs. Okay. This is gold plated silver. And these are silver rhinestone necklaces. This is from the locker I bought right before the one with Ian Jack. Some crap silver. That's the gold from that locker. And then this is gold from Jack and I's locker. This right here is 1350 bucks just in scrap gold. If you scrap at 18 karat. And this is all 14 karat. And this is my sterling silver set. I'll be eating cereal with this tonight. And then some scrap silver and some gold. Now we've come to the real end of this video. This unit was awesome. I even actually, Jack ended up just kind of letting me deal with the last bit of stuff. I made a few hundred bonus bucks because I took the flea market load by myself and he walked away and just kept what we're splitting down the middle. I did a little extra work, but that's fine. But all in all, the jackpot, the gold, silver, I think we ended up with over 10 thousand dollars in gold and silver between both of our videos don't forget to check out his channel and then we got back some a, a good chunk of our money through the sales of the unit that was a, definitely a home run uh jack and i always have we have like a pretty good batting average i think we're batting we're batting up like 800 or something i don't know we had the one the, the pallets the vaults that wasn't a very good day but you can't hit a home run every day michael why are you gonna sign back there mm -hmm. are you getting are you getting nervous you see him getting nervous you hear him you hear that I don't. You think when he has no hair, he's still gonna do this? You think he's still gonna do this with nothing? Like naturally, he's just gonna be like. <laughs> but there's gonna be nothing. No, you think you're going to? Dude, I do it because my hair sucks. I know, but you're, it's habitual. I'm not trying to. I'm just saying, like, out of habit, you do it. So you think you're gonna do it when you have no hair? Like, if you see him do it, you better film it because I'm gonna need this shit for like a do TikTok it. or something. You ready to go? Yeah. Are you? I think. I think he's had anxiety. I do. You see him like he's a little bit nervous? Yeah, no? I'm actually just irritated. Are you irritated with who? What'd you do to him? No, you. He doesn't like and you. Then, but, <laughs> ha, let's go. Yeah. You see my line. Michael, you got your haircut. What's up? 
I just need a little, I just was, I just showed a little clip of you getting your hair cut and the top floor. I want to show the whole world what you look like afterwards. What do you think? You like it? Yeah, I like it. it looks nice. Yeah? You happier? Yeah, I, don't, I don't feel different at all. But How many times have you stroked right. your hair since it's been cut off? A million times. You keep doing better. it? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. All right. You like it though? Yeah. It's, it's